So we're currently uh, screening for uh, patients in the emergency department, asking questions about recent travel history to those three African countries and symptoms of current viral infection. And if we identify such a patient, then we have a dedicated uh, space in the emergency department to begin um, further evaluating the patient and managing them, as well as a dedicated staff of, uh, of a doc emergency doctor and nurses. So I just want everybody to understand that we actually need two things to be worried about Ebola virus. The first is a history of travel to one of the three African countries, Guinea, Sierra Leone, or Liberia, within the last three weeks, 21 days, plus the current um, symptoms of viral infection, like fever, headache, muscle pain, vomiting, diarrhea. So you need both together, the travel history within 21 days and the current symptoms of a viral infection for us to start worrying about Ebola virus disease. So that actually means the vast majority of us who have our colds and our flu syndromes and things like that actually don't need to worry right now. So it isn't until someone comes into the emergency room and, and, uh, and there's a positive on both those lines of questioning, that's what sets off the red flags? That's correct. So you need to have both the travel history, 21 days to one of the three African countries, and the presence of current symptoms of a viral infection. Perfect. Thank you.